Sounds like a cafeteria. There's a little backpack there. What's going on here? Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Oh. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. <laughs> the fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy's some kind of human-hogging hipster? Okay. That's sort of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. Oh, he's, this is high school? Okay, they look younger than that. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? Oh... Oh, gosh. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember what episode it was in, but there was a memory where he was talking to River and he, he, he told her something and said that he was sorry that it tainted their first meeting or something like that. Yeah, oh, okay, here it is right here. Oh, ooh, okay. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. I agree. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Yeah, that's probably... Let's see here. Okay, that's the memento, but we still need to find another memory. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. Yeah, that is nice, isn't it? I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Yeah. Nicholas. Still Nicholas. There's the platypus. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. A stuffed toy platypus. 
I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. <laughs> it must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Watts doesn't like that platypus for some reason. Okay. So this is high school. I, I thought he was younger here, but I figured this was high school, but this is high school. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. What? What did that mean? Kami! Oh, for walnut's sake. Ha! Me! Okay. Hey. <laughs> she pushed him out of the way. Not cool, Eva. You never... <laughs> block someone in the middle of a kamiha kamihameha okay what you guys are weird prepare mm, oh six moves holy cow six moves huh yeah yeah uh Six moves. That's all it took. Still Nicholas. Activate. And further back we go. Maybe he was a young teenager here. I'm going to school now, Ma. Why is he John sometimes and Johnny other times? Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. He's like, yeah, whatever. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname after, nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it, it since it ends in an E. Joey, Jewy, Julie sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Uh, jealous? Oh yes, so jealous. All right, what do we got here? Who? Oh, okay. Huh? Why is that? I guess it's a bench or something there. Oh, pickled olives. What do you think? Oh, blah, not again. A glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. Oh, okay. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Okay. Cucumbers. All right. The clock, it ticks. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Alright, I guess, um... Is this his room? There's like a bunk bed there. Soccer ball. Trash can, maybe? And then, uh, like a... Fireplace kind of thing? Oh, okay. So there's the memento. We need to find one more memory. Huh, how did I miss it? This place isn't that big. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, what's this place? What is this thing? Is that a bed? What is that? I don't know what that is. All right, well, I guess we'll look at this strangely placed bookshelf. Various books with smudged titles. Okay. Locked in. Ready for action. Is 
That was kind of a strange memory there. Nothing really happened there. Did we even learn anything? I mean, the cucumbers uh, were the, probably the weirdest thing there. There's that bird again. Prepare. Six? Yikes. of this. No, I don't. I don't like the looks of this at all. I knew these were going to get hard. Um, this is, this is disturbing me right here. Huh. That would give me those. I'm not real sure what to do with this, though. Thinking that might not have been the right thing to do. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stepped in that one. <laughs> totally lucked into that. <laughs> I admit it. <laughs> I, was, I was lucky. All right, let us travel. Soccer ball. It smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Is it snowing? Eva? What the... What the hell is that? Uh... What the hell is that? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for the construction. For construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Are they talking about Johnny? What are they talking about? Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What the heck? What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Um, what the heck is going on? Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Hmm, so colorful. Goodness. Don't disturb them. What does he know? They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Okay. Hmm. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. 
Aye, that's all, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon with your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. What? I have a question. John has a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Huh. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would, that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believed that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that what I truly am? Hmm. What the... <laughs> ah, all of our nights work. What the... What... What is this, Qbert? What the... Uh-huh. Okay, then. What the... What the... What the... <laughs> At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay, well... I'm not real sure what to make of this, but hopefully I can save it here. Because it is break time for me. See if that's saved. Looks like it did. Well, this is um, interesting, confusing. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to see what happens next and figure out what the heck is going on here, but that'll have to happen next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, consider leaving a like or a comment. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.